Hey guys, a long time no bloody see. Um, got some unfortunate news. My uh, my last phone slash video camera uh, decided to go swimming, and I've lost all my photos and videos that I've taken. So pretty much everything from just south and a little bit of the night leading up to it is uh, completely gone. But I do have some footage from my GoPros and video from the GDO Sport guys and things like that, which I'll be using to. I put something together um, when I get around to it, which isn't right now. But yeah, I'm at Willie's today at Agile. We're just doing a bit of work on the SC1000. I'll show you what we're doing. So what we're doing is taking the diff mount out, and we're going to go up a little bit more with the diff because if you see the giant mess that it's made, look at that. So yeah, we. The problem is the boot is touching the subframe there and on the other side the same so on the other side the where is it just the boot strap for the cvs actually come off the boot's still all right uh, but same thing it's so close um so we just need to move it pretty much so other than this all going completely wrong um it's actually pretty good i'm pretty happy with how the diff conversion went there's nothing wrong with the hubs um it actually obviously Obviously it lasted the whole whole day drifting. And it's all good. I've still got maybe someone can light light me up here because see this movement here, hold on. That the stubs have got in the in the diff center. Like obviously my seals may be a bit stuffed there, but I don't like the fact that that moves, and I'm pretty sure it's to do with the fact that it's got a two-way in it. Because the factory and the same ones definitely don't do that. But yeah. Maybe you guys know why or how to fix it because I'm pretty keen to have those stubs like not jiggling around like bloody like that, you know. Um, yeah, we're just going to do some work on that and come out later on. All bloody done. Look at that. Um, it actually went all sort of according to plan, roughly. We've got the V2 of the diff mount that's slightly a little bit higher. Um, I think we're going to go move the front of the diff a little bit higher as well. And then, yeah, that should be about as good as it's going to get. The two boots managed to change um, with no issues and regrease them and everything. So that's all back together and that all worked beautifully and it's all it's all bloody good. So we'll see how it drives, see how much rattling it has because uh, the, the breather on the diff is like hitting on some heat shield, like the fuel tank heat shield or something. So I'll see how that is. I'll get under there and give it a proper clean and a look over and put a breather hose on it and stuff like that so sort of currently trying to kind of make it maybe maybe for the track attack on sunday um i'll have a think about that on my drive home and see if i'm doing that or not but that's sort of the plan at the moment um yeah don't know what i'm doing next but i'll see you next time